Hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have a seat. Enjoy yourself. Watch me blow all those guys up. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day and all that. Hope life is treating you all right. My day? Well, I mean, it's it's all right. There's absolutely nothing to complain about, right? It's it's this, uh, I was gonna launch into like, oh, my day is so, so awful because my schedule's all messed up now. Like, oh, I'm doing like things way out of order like I normally would. I love having a routine. Maybe I'm on the spectrum. Who knows? No, but the, like, the, you know, the, the joke being that uh, I've got so little to complain about that my day being a bit out of schedule and me not being able to work out for a day completely ruins it. Anyway, what am I trying to say? Yeah, like, so normally the way my day would go, I'm recording this way earlier than I normally would be in a day. Why? Because normally around this time I'd be working out. I'd be doing uh, mainly arms today, which means like pull-ups and push-ups and all that sort of stuff. The problem is, I, I fucked up my my right hand. I fucked up my finger on my right hand, and I can tell you exactly how it happened as well. It Because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, right? I've been playing modded Minecraft, and... Well, if you've played a Minecraft mod pack before, you know that you usually play with that mod that has like inventory sorting by pressing middle mouse. And I've been doing a lot of that, and apparently... That gets me fucked up sometimes. By the way, there goes my deal chances. I don't know why I left the soul heart behind. I for forgot this was an XL floor. Oh well. Should have just taken that to begin with. That was uh, completely my bad. So yeah, now my, my, my right middle finger hurts a little bit because I've been pressing a lot of middle mouse. For some reason, that always happens when I when I do that. Uh, which is my sign that I need to stop playing Minecraft as much, uh, evidently. That definitely. No, that's, that's definitely what it means, yeah. But also, th this is the next thing, the second reason I can't work out right now, why my day schedule is all messed up, is the, 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 the simple nature of it is that my dad is currently occupying the room I would normally work out in, aka where my pull-up bar is. Why? Because it also happens, it just happens to be like our multi-purpose room. Like, most of the time, nobody's in there, right? That's why I can work out in there, that's why my pull-up bar is in there and I store my weights there and everything. Problem is, Right now, the, the few times anybody does occupy it is when my dad wants to iron clothes. And he does this like once a month or twice a month, maybe. He just stockpile a bunch of laundry and then he irons his like tissues and shit like that, right? So what does this mean? Well, not tissues, handkerchiefs more like, but yeah. Uh, what does this mean? Well, th there's no space in the room right now. There's a fat ironing board and he's in there fucking steaming up the whole room, you know. I, I, I don't mind it. He ironed some of my shirts earlier. Uh, they're they're nice, and, nice and flat and non-wrinkly now and stuff, which is great. I... <laughs> I can't really complain about that, but it also means that I can't currently occupy that room as well to work out. Um, so even if I wanted to work out and my hand wasn't messed up, hey, love me a small rock. Small rock, a damage up and a tears up for the small price of one bomb? Very satisfactory. Yeah, so you know, I can't, I can't work out today. I'm trying to find like excuses to do it, I'm just like, you know what, I work out like every day anyway. I think missing a day every once in a while, probably not the worst. Pro I I'll probably live, I think I'll be fine. Swarm? I'll just take that. There's no point in re-rolling that. So yeah, I'm doing this before I even had dinner, before I've worked out, before I showered. I mean, maybe if I want to, I'll work out later. Let's be honest, I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. I'll just rest easy today. I'll just be like, you know what? Let's have a rest day for once. I don't think I need to work out every damn day. That's already going like... It's doing more than most people. And I don't do a lot. So, still. Long-winded way of me saying for four minutes, uh, hey, my day is messed up. <laughs> As in, my normal daily routine that I follow, like, pretty much every day of my life is currently turned upside down. But, who knows? Maybe that yields a better Isaac run. I don't know, right? There's always weird correlations that can happen because of stuff like that. Alright, Dingle. Sit yourself down, please. You and your little freaks that you're creating. Look at this. Just, oh, what a, sh what a shot that was. What a tear. Just caught a mid-charge. Easy peasy. I'll take the HP. It's not worth re-rolling. Uh, I'd rather re-roll something else. Is this all- This is it?! The world's smallest Larry Jr.? I guess the, the real fight in this room is the arena, but... That was it?! Like, what?! Okay, um... I can't remember if I've ever seen that Larry Jr. arena before, where he's literally just three segments. That's... That's new to me. That's, that's definitely new to me. Anyway, I'm gonna re-roll this uh, item once more because I don't want the D8. Oh my god, you're just making me roll through all the terrible active items, huh? Alright, well, I got them out of the way at least. I'm not even gonna look for my secret room on this floor. I only have one bomb anyway. It's probably in a weirdo spot where I'm not gonna find it immediately because it wasn't the most obvious spot, but that's my bad because I didn't check every adjacent room. I'm just, like, kind of losing my mind. I'm losing my marbles. Let's go down to the next floor, man. Ares. Hmm... That's a tempting offer, you know? I did get a speed down from Small Rock, so you know what? Fuck it. I think that's worth it. Oh, why? Would you look at that? And I'm gonna re-roll it as well, if I can get to myself a charge sooner rather than later. I've already been to my item room, so yeah, might as well, right? Maybe this turns into something good. It turned into shade. A darn shame. <laughs> 
A crying shame indeed, but hey, it could have turned into something better, right? You never know. Might as well take a look. Oh, I would love all of those. Mm-hmm. Ah, I just want to reroll the knife piece, though. Oh, man, I need so many charges. I need that 9 volt, like, badly. Let's use it on this. Okay, never mind. Let's not. <laughs> that's a good That's a good outcome, though. That, that way I now know what's in there. Uh, instead, let's use it on the normal side curse room. Heartbreak, huh? You know, I'm not the lost, so it's not that crazy. I'll, I'll leave it around for now. Maybe I, maybe I can finesse another charge. Maybe I don't have to reroll the devil deal, right? Something like that. Let's do the mirror side first here. I'm, I'm, I'm like racking my brain. I'm, I'm figuring this out. Was there another charge for sale in here? There is. Okay, never mind. We're actually so set. Let's go. Yeah, I'll take booster pack. I wouldn't reroll that anyway. An inverted judgment. An inverted justice. Ace of diamonds. An ace of diamonds. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Hold the fucking phone. As much as I love this era, this inverted judgment card is crazy. It's got unbelievable potential. Being able to just put down a restock machine at some point, this is gonna be so nuts. Matter of fact, maybe I just want to use it in a devil deal. I don't know. Saves me having to spend my money on charges, but at the same time, I should probably save it for a future floor. First things first, unfortunately, I think I'm forced to do this because I do want 9 volt. There's no questions asked about it. I want it anyway, so I might as well buy it. Hello there, Wormwood. Once more. Once more, you will be made a piece of dust before me. You are nothing to me. You're like my son, except not the type of son I treat well. <laughs> You're the type of son that you kind of like, you don't really want to disown because of like the stigma it carries, but you also don't really want to treat well. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. What's the devil do got? A Thame is decent. I don't care much about the shovel. So let's buy a Thame and let's reroll you. Uh, Brother Bobby. Now do I do the judgment card for one devil room pedestal with 11 cents? I don't think that's worth it. Nah, I'd rather save my HP. Bada bing, bada boom. Red key. Ha. Huh. Let's do it from the shop. Boom. Ah, oh, unfortunate. There's uh, very little to complain about so far. Things are going well. Should do this for charges. Why the hell not? I got keys anyway to open these. A magician card. You know what? I'll just pop that. An emperor card. You know what? Sure. These guys with like base damage. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been... It could have been the visage. So honestly, this is like way easier. Even though my damage output is not incredible, and I did just get hit, unfortunately. This is still easier than the alternative would have been. Also, the Magician card was still active for a lot of that. Can you guys stop? You see, I've never been so underpowered against these guys that I've never seen them do half of these attacks before. And man, oh man, this is gonna take forever. I'm just noticing now. Oh my god, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit by everything as well. I'm not even trying to dodge it, right? Like, at least try to dodge. Oh, that explodes fast. I've never seen half of these attacks before. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Why am I running into that? <laughs> I have never seen these guys do this many attacks. I'm gonna die against these guys, man. I gotta stop getting hit. This is a challenging fight. Who knew this would be a challenging fight when you don't one-shot these guys immediately as soon as you fight them? Uh, as soon as you enter the room. Please just die. Oh, fuck you. Please leave me alone. Please, no, stop it. Oh my god, bro. Okay. Now let, let, let me kill you, please. Please just die. Please just- uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's health too. I'm I'm good. I'm good. That was excruciating. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it was worth it though. I got a tears up out of it. It was an excruciating fight and it took forever and took everything out of me. I don't even care about the last deal chances. I wasn't likely to get a deal this far anyway. It's just the, uh, the amount of time it took to do that was uh, truly- a, it was a marathon. A full room. Interesting. Okay. Do I take cube, baby? Sure. Fuck it. I could have gone for the reroll. Yes, I know, I know, I have the dice room. <sighs> nah. <laughs> you know, I do have flat files, so maybe there's a case to be made to take Voodoo Head. You have money for me? I know there's a waste of my bomb, but he's got money for me, so you know what? Worth it. And guess what? This fight is probably Gideon. <laughs> oh boy, I love it here. <laughs> it's. A truly terrible final wave. Thank you for the Athane payout. That's absolutely massive. Oh my god, it did so much for me. Yeah, the speed is actually kind of helpful here. Got a luck up as well. Bunch of money. Yep, there's uh, nothing to shop either. Uh, oh well. Was there, okay, was there a bomb at least? Like, I could use a bomb. Please? Uh, in a way, that is a bomb. Hold on. Okay, well now I might as well make use of that. Look, this run is already going to be slow as shit. It's 23 minutes and I'm on the mines one. 
the mines won. <laughs> like, if you were wondering how slow this run is going, it's going snail's pace. This is as, as slow as they get. Oh boy, a credit card. Might as well use it on this shop, considering I'm not buying anything in there anyway. Or much rather, considering I'm not carrying it forward, I might as well spend it here. Oh, of course, it's a bad pill. Why wouldn't it be? I haven't, there, there were buttons in here, right? Might as well step on them. Oh boy, it spawned enemies. Of course it did. Oh boy, a quarter. I should take that because I need money for my restock machine and for shops and stuff, but at the same time... Oh boy, why does every button spawn enemies, bro? At the same time, I have this, and that is an upgrade of an item, I would argue. Oh boy! <laughs> yeah, that, that helped quite a lot. Now we may leave. I, might, my, I, may, my, I may finally leave the fourth floor of the run. Uh, at a point in time when you would normally make boss rush on like a fast run. Yeah, that's uh, it's a slow burner. <laughs> I'm sure this run will accelerate at some point in the near future. I'm sure I will find something that will- Oh fuck, I didn't need to use the bomb, oh well. I'll find something to make this a little bit faster. There is my curse room, well, one of. I did get Voodoo Head, so there's bound to be a second one at some point as well. These are supposed to be better now, and, well, more, more red chests is technically better. They have more chances of actually paying out with something that's worthwhile. I'm just gonna reroll Magic Skin. Thank you very much for Guppy's Ido. I appreciate it. Here's all my special rooms. What's the item room got? Big fan. Uh, would it be false to say I'm not a huge fan? Ah, fuck it. Yeah, the other one was worse, so... I'm not using my charge on it, I'm so close to fighting the boss as well, I'm likely to get a deal this floor. I'd rather just save it for all it's worth and all that. God, that Athane pickup was so huge, I'm so glad I took it at any point. It's It's been doing so much for me. That just felt right, I don't know why. Oh boy. You know, I want this because it's a tears up. But also, I'm tempted to just use the judgment card in here. I think... Because it's an item pedestal, right? I gotta. Why, why, why am I blowing this guy up? I know there's nothing inside of him. I gotta, man. I gotta. It's a secret room pedestal. Flip's pretty neat. Unfortunately, it won't do much for me on this floor anymore. I should pick these up, but I think they disappear anyway. I'm rolling through everything here. I, I want to have, like, a banger item. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. I, I'm happy about that. All right, all right. Hey, I'm shoddy. Uh, no, give me that glitch crown, please. There it is. All right. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty. <laughs> now, I could have rerolled the D6. I don't really need it anymore, but come on. It's a perfect time to get Glitch Crown, too. I've gone, like, to, been to every item room and stuff like that on the old path. I guess I gotta get off the old path now, but at the same time, having an extra shop and an extra floor with item rooms at all is kind of a cool idea. That's the that's a tough decision I have to make now. What do we got? Let's check this uh, Devil Deal first. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, I love what I'm seeing, man. I love me this backstabber right there. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna take me that. Thank you very much. And then, I mean, voiding the D4, uh, D6 would not be a bad idea. What else is on this pedestal, though? Another copy item. Honestly, re-roll me, man. Give me... Give me this. Yeah, that'll do. Considering I just chose to forego it, I'll grab a tears up right here. Things are looking up on this bitch of an earth, man. Oh, uh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Oh, yeah, right. I got... Right, I got glitch crown. I was like, I, oh, I gotta re-roll this. There's no point I'm taking this. I have re-rolls automatically. Lamel. I'm Guppy, by the way. Good thing I took uh, Guppy's eye earlier. Good thing I re-rolled. Oh boy, that's a goat hit. Also, the magic skin showed up again. Turns out I should have picked it up before re-rolling it. Oh well. I think the pact is totally fine. Takes me to the tears cap, gives me a little bit more damage. Life is good. I'm Guppy now, so life is already like always gonna be good, no matter what. Eh. Uh, well, those items aren't worth anything to me at all. They shall be re-rolled. Like, don't get me wrong. My reflection is a fine item. It's probably the finest item on that stack here. But it's better. Three dollar bill is also a fine item, but come on, look, I got I got fucking ghost pepper. Like, why wouldn't I take that instead? It's so much better. <laughs> anyway, here's like an interesting idea I had the other day that I think would be like probably like a like the plot, the overarching plot or idea for like a TV show or a movie. Matter of fact. There's a good chance it's already been made, and I just got this idea independently, randomly. Uh, by, by the way, don't steal. If you're like a writer in in Hollywood or something like that, don't steal, okay? This is this is my original prop property. I'm never actually going to do anything with it, but I came up with this idea, so at least credit me, okay? It's it's like a horror science fiction type of, type of story type of deal, where, imagine this, right? An alien race comes to Earth, and there's aliens, and they somehow- don't, don't question how they know this, but they, they know about the way we keep our track of our years. And they make like this one condition where they're like, we will give you like access to our insane space age technology. Oh boy, that's polyphemous. I will give you ins like access to our insane technology, which will immediately propel us to being like a type three civilization. But in exchange, they want us to 
kill everybody who was born before the year 2000. That's where the date thing comes in. I know I'm bad at telling stories in like a cohesive manner, but you know what I mean, right? Anyway, and that's that's the plot right there. Gives you something to think about, right? I would be fucked in that case because I was born before the year 2000. But still, you know, why the year 2000? I don't know. It's it's a cool number. It's it's an arbitrary cutoff, sure, but it's it's a it's a fitting cutoff in a way as well. A, a, a somewhat sensible one. Actually, I should have w Wicked Crown on me because that's an extra treasure room on the next two floor on, on Shoal, if anything. How would the aliens know that somebody was born before the year 2000? Well, I don't know. Look, man, this this is just the general plot idea. It's not supposed to have like every plot hole and every question answered immediately. That's something you can figure out on the in, in the writer's room, okay? That's what it's for. That's that's where you figure shit like that out. Not not don't ask me the questions now. I don't know, that sounds like a movie that's probably already been made. Maybe somebody's already made that, or like at least written about it or something, I don't know. But it sounds cool. It's, it's a cool idea, right? You could, you could w w you know, uh, visit that from different viewpoints. How how humans will think about it. They'll be like, oh man, look, imagine all the technology we can have, but also we gotta kill like everybody over the age of 23. That's kind of fucked up, man. If you If it were to take place in the current year, right? Obviously, it could be like, what if it took place in... I should go down because I have the crown. Uh, what if it took place in 50 years time? Well, at that point, everybody born before the year 2000 is going to be old as shit, so it doesn't even matter that much anymore, right? Should I take Abaddon or should I take... I should take Abaddon because I won't lose the bone hearts. So it's actually just... Ah, uh, well, I fucked it up. Should I take contract from below or should I take money equals power? Let's let's take contract. And then reroll this. Uh, Ayobala would be pretty dope. So would uh, Rotten Baby, though. Although, do I have any... Con I have one conjoined piece. Give me Avalo. Okay, well, I got Rotten Baby. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, uh, whatever. They're both fine. They're both fine. I'm already guppies of Rotten Baby's not gonna do that much, but one more extra fly never hurt nobody, right? Maybe maybe the movie could be about how somebody is trying to cheat the system, right? How they're gonna try to pretend they were born before the year 2000. The fucked up thing is, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta think about the cutoff. Like, if you're born 31st of December 1999, sorry, but you're fucked. <laughs> There's got to be a cutoff at some point, right? Y you got to stop at some point. How did I come up with this idea? I don't even know where it came from, actually. I think it was like a dream, almost. Like, like semi, or like maybe not a dream, but it was like a somewhat delirious thought I had while I was like half asleep or something like that. I don't think it was a dream because I wasn't, I wasn't in this world, at least. It was really like I, I imagined it as the, the writer's room type of deal. But yeah. Euthanasia, huh? Or I could sack with sack altar. That's two extra items. I mean... That's literally worth it, right? I got mom's knife out of it? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean... I could take that. Or I could take Black Candle, which is less boring. You know what? I'm taking Black Candle. <laughs> Screw it. I'm rerolling this. It turned into some of the same shit, but it also crucially turned into a fucking cricket's head. I guess the Crystal Pool doesn't have that many items in it, so... We cycled out of them already. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think that's... That's more exciting than a mom's knife. Just more damage. My damage is kind of absurd now. I'm doing... Way too much. <laughs> oh, bl bloody crown as well. God damn it, I need another trinket slot. Also, you couldn't have showed up a floor earlier. Couldn't these have swapped? So I- Ah, oh, man. Ah. I need- I need trinket space. But I think having the immediate payoff of the womb shop and item room is gonna be more exciting than the shoal one. I need- I need a fucking- I need a fucking mom's purse somehow. Which I can only get next floor because that's where my next shop is gonna be. Oh, fuck, man. Need me a fucking belly button to just randomly show up from like a gold chest or something like that. That'd be pretty awesome. Might as well fight the boss right now. I'm gonna get another devil deal afterwards, get a, uh, you know, a bunch of goodies. Perhaps. Let's peep this deal first. It's Krampus. Well, he did not drop Lump of Coal. He did drop Damocles, though. I have nine lives, so I have no reason to really not take it. Even if I take damage, I'll be fine. So, let's take it. Ah, fuck. I fucked up anyway. I knew the timing was off. Uh, oh, well. Let's take uh, this at least. I didn't fuck that up. Okay. Uh, well, there's homing out of, uh, out of Spoonbender. I almost thought I fucked up the timing again. I'm glad I didn't. I shall play this immediately without any sort of concern for my own safety or well-being. Plus, I get tears ups out of uh, brittle bones. Finally, it's kind of what they're for, right? I've lost half the bone hearts just to deals, so this will be a good change of pace. All right, there's a second angel. Also died pretty much instantaneously. Thank you for that. I'm not gonna risk having um, another sack room show up or something, so I'm not gonna reroll the key pieces there. That's Simply not worth it. What type of goods do you hold for me? Goods and services. I shall re-roll these. Fruitcake. <laughs> I gotta take fruitcake, brother. Fruitcake is hilarious. Solo Lilith as well. Why not? TDL. Don't mind if I do. 
I'm loving the fact that the fame is popping like every room now. Oh, let's fight the boss first. I'm right here. Might as well, right? It's gonna be like three hits. There you go. Once the flies come in, it's over. Got an angel deal, actually. Holy shit. There's so much stuff in here. I gotta take the stairway, right? Even though there's Godhead and even though there's Trisag, I gotta take the stairway. I've got so much money. As long as I don't fuck it up. Okay, let's go. I didn't fuck it up. Let's find my shop real quick. I know I need to save money anyway for the stairway, but still, like, I might as well, right? It sucks passing up Godhead there. It sucks passing up Trisag. I would have loved both. I could have only had one either way. But the stairway enables me to get more angel items, which would have been, well, pretty much impossible otherwise. So I think it is the correct choice to do it this way instead. There's... Where's the shop? Aren't... Isn't Bloody Crown supposed to... Oh, only treasure rooms. Okay, the, the Shoal Crown does treasure rooms and shops, I see. Roll me. These are not... Oh, tra tractor? Tractor beam. Tractor. I fucked it up, but I got room bag instead, which is actually totally fine as well. I was considering going for that anyway, so... Missing out on tractor beam? Not the worst. Here, not the worst. I would have loved to have it, but I can deal uh, in living without it as well. I, I will be alright. Let me peep this stairway real quick. I mean, holy mantle, you kind of just gotta take, man. You can't not take holy mantle, right? Like, this, this is just a no-brainer. I might as well try to make this guy pay out. Unfortunately, I do not get another roll, so... Give me the conjoined piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the swarm protector. That's that's fine. Joker me. I don't have a roll for this either, but still. Might just be worth it. They really gave me the fucking mom's knife again, huh? I could take it. Screw it. Why not? Why not? Why not? I got, like, homing mom's knife with 40 damage. Like, this shit is gonna destroy everything in its buff. I didn't mean to take that immediately, but now I got Dr. Fetus with mom's knife. Does that do anything? Do they have a synergy? Not at all, huh? I mean, <laughs> I'm upset that I got an instant pickup, but I'm not upset because it's Dr. Fetus. Uh, but I am upset because it doesn't do anything because I have Mom's Knife and apparently they don't synergize. So, um, I don't know where I stand right now. Do I want Mucomycosis? Does it even do anything with Knife? Probably not, but I'll take it. Alright, let's just kill Satan and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that was a one-shot, by the way. I got Backstabber too, so occasionally this Knife is just gonna do double damage, which is really funny. If enemies don't die to my fucking flies already. <laughs> yeah, that's bound to happen too, that's true. We've got another stairway up here as well. Two more items potentially. I see that twisted pair by the way, I'm very excited about already. Let's get this freak to pay out. Ideally, within a reasonable time frame, please. He's eating my money. And not paying out. And now I got prayer- Not only did he- Not only did he eat all my money, he gave me the instant pickup on a prayer card. Edmund! <laughs> I know that's a, I know it's a time machine mod. I know I just lost the stairway because of that as well. I thought rewinding would let me go back in. I guess not. Oh well. There's there's worse things in life. I'm sure I'll I'll be fine. Give me that twisted pear. That's Play-Doh cookie. Okay. Well, whatever. Look, man, I'm just taking items. Lacry. How does Lacry work with knife? I gotta know. I don't care about the lives I'm spending on it. Might as well open this chest too. I don't want almond milk. I don't want anything here, matter. Inner eye, huh? I should, because mom's knife is crazy with triple shot, or like, with shot multipliers. Keep killing me, buddy. Keep killing me. Ha Capricorn pays for itself. Wafer is obviously crazy. Give me Capricorn. That's Wafer. Okay, well, fuck it. Whatever, I've, I've spent all my lives now. I don't, I don't have any reason to spend any more. Yeah, triple knife is gonna do a lot more here. <laughs> this is, uh, absurd. I've inadvertently nerfed my flies, which doesn't really matter, because they were already crazy regardless. Oh boy, that's Ipecac. Y yeah um, <laughs> um give me that why not ah fuck it let's just fight the lamb he's gonna die in one hit anyway man look at that he basically died in one hit one continuous hit from the knife as well as some of my million flies one million fireflies I lit up the room as you fell asleep what would you do what would you do if you were falling asleep and a million fireflies lit up the room i would be fucking terrified tech Libra. <laughs> Libra would be funny. <laughs> um, I gotta take tech here, man, of course. I think that has a synergy with knife. It also has a synergy with Lacry and Ipecac. Okay! Yeah, I've, I fucked up. <laughs> I have messed up. I'll badly take knockout drops. So what's this rune, by the way? A perfro. Interesting. Oh my god. I need explosion immunity. Stats. I, Mantle is the only thing keeping me alive here. You actually want to be in the center of the room, where all those explosive tears are lingering. I know, it's fucking paradoxical. But it's the only place you don't instantly get hit. It, it, it's kind of wild. What I do know for sure is that this is going to do a trillion damage against anything I go up against. Explosion immunity, please. 
it, you know what? I, I don't, I mean, C-section sucks with Ipecac, but I don't know what else it's going to do with all the other synergies I have. It might keep me safe in some ways. And you know what? Belly Jelly can save my life as well. Yeah, you know what? I think this is going to be a lot safer. They're going to do, they're going to explode, which is um, fortunate with, uh, with uh, C-section because their damage usually comes from the fact that they linger for so long. But I can live with that. If it means I don't <laughs> blow myself up every second as soon as I walk into a room. That's very much acceptable. Also, they do a quadrillion damage. <laughs> they pretty much one-shot anything they touch. This run has been long enough. I got dinner to eat. That's the next thing. I didn't even have dinner yet, man. My whole day, my whole schedule's been messed up. Including the fact I haven't even had dinner before recording. I'm not glyconated. You could you probably could tell how uh, I was lacking some nutrients in my body. <laughs> Or something like that. I don't know. Oh, there's explosions going on now? Oh, God. It's getting scary now. I've already lost my mantle. Uh, wafer, take the wheel, man. I gotta have Wafer keep me safe here. At least I am rather safe. The worst case outcome is a random stray fucking lacrity or something like that. But nah, it's fine. We killed Mega Satan. And the run ended right before I was about to die. <laughs> Alright, hey, that's something, right? That was an insane run. But I mean, it's to be expected when you've got a D6 when you start as Isaac, right? Anyway, I've enjoyed myself. I hope you have as well. I hope I can see you again tomorrow for some more of this fun and all that stuff. Until then, have a have a good one, I suppose. See ya. See ya. Bye.